Hi, I'm Michelle Maton. I'm an actor. Um, I'm 18 years old, and my Instagram is at the Michelle Maton, M O U T O N. My last name is Maton, pronounced kind of like salad crouton. <laughs>
hard to to memorize a hive. If they give me a whole page, yeah. that would be not so easy <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's why I admire so much the <laughs> actors. <laughs> and also, like uh, a fun fact, I I found an interview with Jay Gyllenhaal when uh -huh. he worked with Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Yeah, that he uses kind of jingles, like kind of mm -hmm. music I've heard of to it. Doing that. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. and I found it really interesting. Wow, excellent, excellent. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, <laughs> and also within all of this. Um, In which kind of project would you love to to work in mm. in the near future? Do you want? Uh, do you have a drama, comedy? I love my strongest point is comedy, but wow. I would really love to do a a drama film. Like I want to do a movie. I want to do like a feature film, and I I would like to do a, something more serious, something more drama, just because uh. I. I want to show okay. that I can do it, but oh. I do love comedy. Anything comedy, I'll take. Wow, excellent, excellent choice. And did you have a favorite comedian or a favorite movie of this genre? Is this a uh, comedy? Hmm. There's so many. All time. I think right now my favorite like comedian, if you would say, is uh -huh. Brittany Broski. Is really popular right now. Um, oh, okay. I really like uh -huh. her. I think she's really funny, and her podcast is great. Um, movie, comedic movie. Recently, I can't really think of one. Uh -huh. um, but I, a show that I really find, like I genuinely find funny and I laugh out loud at, would be Arrested Development. It's on Netflix right now, and I've been binging okay. it again for like a <laughs> time because it's just it's <laughs> genuinely funny. And I think it was oh. really ahead of its time, and it makes me laugh. That one's probably really good. Yeah. Wow, excellent, excellent. Wow, excellent choice, Michelle. I have to watch that. You just say it on Netflix because I, mm -hmm. I haven't. Okay, okay, excellent. And within also all of this, I would love to know how is one day of yours, including acting, whether if it is audition or going to perform a role. How do you organize all of this? How do I organize? Um, so I do. So to prepare for an audition, do you mean? Like to prepare. Uh, Uh, like to prepare and also the school and your friends. How how is one oh, day of yours? Just uh -huh. a day in my life. Uh -huh, just like uh -huh. one day. Oh, a day okay. of, of Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I'm still in high school. I graduate in May. I'm really excited about that. So right wow. now, um, like a weekday. Uh, uh -huh. Usually, when I I wake up at like six no. and then. I go to school, I come home at around three, I do my homework and I chill out. But then on a day that I'm working, usually what happens is during the week they work. So especially for like Shylan Bros, that's my most recent one. Um, okay, okay. What happens is usually I'll be at school for like an hour or two and then I will leave early and then I'll drive to the set and then I'll work uh -huh. till I'm done, uh -huh. which is usually around like <laughs> seven or eight. And then I drive home and then I drink a coffee, take a shower, do my homework. And then do it again the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow! Excellent, yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Seems to be that you, yeah, you have all in a really cool and interesting balance. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's amazing, but it's fun. Wow! Excellent, excellent, Michelle. And finally, uh, within this first part of the interview, yeah, which kind of message would you love to give through your performance? I would love. Um, I. I'm very passionate about uh, supporting young women and making young girls feel seen and feel like they have a community and they have a space in the world and they have a voice and that they need to use it because um, I think just girls in general we are so powerful and I think we forget and right now with a lot of media like people are uplifting women more than they used to but I feel like especially people <laughs> like young girls need to find a way to speak up for themselves and to not be drowned out by something else so what I wanted like through my performance and stuff is I want to inspire especially young women to take initiative and to do what they want to do with their life without someone else bossing them around telling them what they should wow 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 yeah. wow excellent wow <laughs> really cool really interesting and powerful message you want to give through Thank your you. performance wow Thank excellent Michelle. and uh, i forgot to ask if mm -hmm. in your school yep. they already know you are an actress or yeah. how, how how is that yeah they do now ever since i started shyland rose they do because for a while i was on a schedule of like 
doing two weeks at school and then one week filming or like two weeks at school and then like half days of school and filming so like they are aware and they know but um i think they're they're glad i'm graduating soon because it does get difficult with them to like work out attendance stuff but they're (laughs) they they understand and they are pretty supportive about it so i'm happy i'm very thankful ah wow wow excellent yes yes yes. and uh, as you previously say uh uh-huh in case you you miss something because you are on on this audition oh, wow wow yeah. excellent excellent michelle and now moving on this second part uh uh-huh. for retrospective i'm gonna ask you a couple of your projects on internet movie database and you're gonna tell me a cool or funny or interesting cool story from each one okay awesome. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay okay we can start with this shiloh and for us to be serious yeah. okay mm-hmm. okay they uh-huh. uh has been like one of the best thing that's ever happened to me before Uh i booked it through um well my mom actually found a like opening for them i don't even know where she found it but i knew Uh cole who's also on the show i've known him for a very long time we grew up together kind of and our moms are really good friends and cole's mom was like you should like if michelle like if you see something for this like you should audition you should audition and i didn't even know my mom did it she submitted me for it and then (laughs) i I got the thing and they were like come Uh on set and it was great and then i did it and they it was amazing and they kept asking me back they're genuinely the sweetest people on earth um and they are so good to work with for sure Wow, um, wow. Yeah. wow 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 I think my favorite video i've done a favorite episode i've done with them was oh. the restaurant tycoon in real life that was really fun because i got to actually throw food at people and have the food oh. like dogs <laughs> spaghetti it was really fun it was so Take fun. It. Yeah. okay okay yeah. wow excellent wow what a really cool interesting story michelle thank <laughs> you so much now another one we have elementary broadcast yeah this is a short film wow yeah okay okay yeah that was so long ago <laughs> yeah this is <laughs> like that was pre-covid i think that oh. was like one of the, i don't even think it ever came out like actually because it's on imdb and stuff but it, like i don't think it ever actually got made because uh-huh. it was pre-covid and we hadn't shot half of it and then covid hit like we had been filming for like oh two weekends and then we were gonna film again and then i think covid hit that weekend so we like couldn't film anymore and then the world shut down and it was crazy but what happened um i i just before i was in i was like 14 and i booked it it's such a funny script like i really hope one day we can go back i can because i'm still friends with um, one of the directors so i really oh, hope wow. one day i can go back and get it because the script is so funny but it's really hilarious and what ha- um One thing that was really funny about it is I got to work with all my friends. Like a lot of my friends who are in the active community around me booked it as well. And we didn't know till we got there. So it was really awesome to show up and be like, what are you doing here? It was really fun. It was great. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Now that you're mentioning all of this uh, COVID, uh, Mm -hmm. how how was for you this? It was in Menta before and after. How was the COVID for you? pandemic Uh, so Uh before covid a lot of auditioning was in person a lot of it you would actually i mean there would be there's still there's still self-tape before covid but um a lot of it was was in person but not as much and then during covid there was about nothing there was like nothing and then slowly Uh coming out of covid everything was just self-tape so now every audition i do is through like a videotape and i submit it Uh and da 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 but yeah pretty much nothing is in person oh. anymore okay yeah okay. which is yeah wow yeah wow wow, wow. Uh, mm-hmm. how how would you prefer uh, in digital or physic i mean i so, i'm so used to self-tape but honestly i work best when i'm under pressure so i do enjoy i do enjoy the little bit of like nervousness for like an in-person audition because okay, i feel like okay. it just like adds a pressure and it adds a little fire but I, I mean, both is fine. It's nice because I don't have to like drive super far to go audition. So it's still, it has, self tape has its perks for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. Yes, yeah, you are, you are, you are so right, Michelle. <laughs> and now we have another one. The park closes at dusk. Mm-hmm. It's another short film, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Uh-huh. We, that was, well, I think a year or two ago, I think two years ago. Um, 
so where I took classes, they had a film challenge every year, and one of my best friends, Zakaya, actually directed that. Wow. And um, we had two writers from the same studio who wrote it. It was mm-hmm. a really funny script. And uh, we made it. It was really fun. We were shooting till like two in the morning. It was we we shot all of it in one day. It was crazy. Oh. It was crazy. And we had like three hours of waiting because we had to wait till it got darker. And so uh. we had filmed some of the scenes in the morning, and we were like, we don't have time to like shoot this in the middle of the night. So we need to. So some of the scenes like were oh, inside yeah, were shot be- in like broad daylight, but we had to cover the windows black to uh. make it look like it was nighttime. Uh. It was cool. It was really fun. It was fun. It was a long night, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, now that you say all of this, that wait until um, uh, dusk. I, I remember this from La La Land that they have to wait yeah. until yeah, uh-huh, in yeah. order to shoot the dancing mm-hmm. scene with Emma Stone yeah. and Ryan Gosling. Wow. Okay, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Really cool, Michelle. <laughs> and we have uh, the last one. Folk is another short Folk, film. Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, uh-huh. Um. Folk was a, another a short one that was oh, I did I did that one when I was like 13 or 14 as well. Wow, that was very old. It was for um, oh. another film challenge. It was really cool. It was small. It was I had a very small role in it. Um, it was really cool though. I got to dress up in like this really cool costume. I got my makeup done. I had like all these freckles, and I looked like a little elf. It was really it was cool. It was great. <laughs> it was really fun. But I think, wow. wow. Um, You didn't ask about this one, but I just want to talk about it because it was it was really fun. Um, uh-huh. My friend for Nashville's 48 Hour Film Challenge, we did uh, a short film. I did it with Zakaya Lamb as well, who did Park Closes at Dusk. We did Milkman, and that okay. one is amazing, and I love it. And it was such a fun project to do, even though it was stressful. We were up till 4 a.m. I think doing that one, three wow. or four a.m. doing that one. But it was great. It was really fun. I just wanted to put that in there because <laughs> it was great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent stories. Thank you so much, Michelle. And I wanted to know uh, if if some of them are available on streaming platforms on YouTube yeah. or you have it mm-hmm. on their key. Yeah. <laughs> how how is this? <laughs> I know. Um, park. Uh, no, uh, park was a desk. I don't know if that's. I know Milkman is available. For sure, uh-huh. on Zakaya Lamb's YouTube channel, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Milkman is on YouTube. It's on YouTube for sure. Um, uh-huh. Shia Bros is is on YouTube, of course. And then, um, I don't know if Park Close at Dusk or Folk is on YouTube. Park Close at Dusk isn't because it just never got finished. But um, Folk, I don't know if it's on YouTube or not. I've never seen it. I've only seen it one time. I saw it one time at the screening that we had uh-huh. for all the short films, and that was it. Uh-huh. But I do know another one of my short films, The Game, is on YouTube uh-huh. somewhere. I don't know which channel it's posted on, but it's there. It's not on IMDb. We couldn't, I couldn't figure out. We couldn't, it was so, it was like, I was like 15 or 16 when me and my friends made that. It was just friends of mine. And it turned out really wow. good. I don't know where it went, but it's on YouTube somewhere. I'll try to, if I find it, I'll send it to you. But <laughs> you know what Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. please. Because I, I always uh, yeah. say this same question to the yeah. actresses. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Because I try to find, but sometimes Clips, yeah. it is in another place or yeah. in a website, maybe. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. I'll send them to you when I find them. Yeah. Okay, excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay, okay. See, we're 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 finishing this in okay, second so phase, and yeah. now the third phase is hot takes. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Ready? I'm okay. excited. <laughs> uh, okay, we can start with uh, comedy or thriller. Comedy or thriller? Hmm. I uh-huh. prefer. I like comedy more. But I think you could combine the two, but I like comedy more, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent, Michelle. Another one, thriller or drama? <laughs> drama, just because you can, I feel like there's more, you can have more story to drama. Thriller is just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> to play a good girl or to play a villain? Villain. Villain, okay, so okay. much more fun. <laughs> Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Another one, mm, a drama or comedy? Comedy. Comedy. Okay, 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 okay. So comedy. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent, excellent, Michelle. Another one. Uh, what would you consider has been your biggest accomplishment so far related to acting? <laughs> I think um, for National 48 Hour Film Challenge last October, uh-huh. we the whole festival, 48 Hour Film Festival is like a nationwide thing, but for just the, the Tennessee bracket, which is located in Nashville, 
Um, wow. I got nominated for Best Actress. So that was, that made my whole year. And, I, and actually, it came out on my birthday, too. The nomination came out on my birthday. I didn't win, but I got nominated. So I was like, what? It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. I was really happy. I think that wow. is probably my biggest accomplishment. And also, like, um, with the Shiloh and Bros, sometimes I get, like, messages from fans and it's just them being like thank you so much like for inspiring me you make me smile and i think that also like it does make wow. me feel really happy that i get to uh -huh. do that for people so definitely one of those too wow okay. excellent yes yes, yes. Yeah. wow excellent and beautiful okay okay yeah. excellent <laughs> and another one uh what could you consider is your biggest fear fear uh -huh. i have a phobia i'm gonna sound crazy this is gonna sound crazy uh -huh. i have a phobia of tiny geckos uh, of what of little like lizards like tiny geckos and lizards i hate them ah. i'm terrified of them i am terrified of them <laughs> i don't know why i've just uh -huh. always been i've always been terrified of them like when we were living uh -huh. in um in singapore and southeast asia the uh -huh. they're everywhere because you're in the tropics like they're everywhere and i'm sure like in mexico they're everywhere too and uh -huh. it's like uh -huh. You can't escape, and it was terrible. Like I would, it was, it was awful. It was so bad. It was, uh -huh. it was, I would scream uh -huh. so loud. Yeah, I'm terrified uh -huh. of them. I'm terrified. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I actually understand you because uh, when I was a kid, I we have this uh, this house uh, along uh, like like two hours from Mexico City, uh -huh. and it was really hot, and they were all kind of animals, snakes, uh, spiders, all, oh, all of no. that, and that that made me like a little well i i don't i don't like it no. especially like spiders and snakes yeah no, i mean uh -huh. honestly i'll take a spider or a snake over a gecko any day i'll take i, I do <laughs> come on <laughs> i hate them okay. i hate them <laughs> there's actually when i was filming for um an episode of shadow rose that's not out yet i don't know when it's gonna be out probably like two fridays from now but there uh -huh. was, we were filming a shot and we were outside and it's getting uh -huh. hotter in the US right now, like summer's coming up again. So they're, they're out, uh -huh. they're coming out. Mm -hmm. And there was a lizard on the pavement and I, I, I got up and I ran to the other side. I was like, I'm not going back there until you <laughs> confirm it's gone. <laughs> so like they had to confirm that it was nowhere. And it was, it was, it was humbling, but it was funny. <laughs> Looking back at it, it wasn't funny in the moment, but it was funny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, excellent, Michelle. Thank you so much. A really, really cool and uh, funny story. <laughs> Another one. Uh, what? Uh, thinking about this. Uh, what makes you laugh the most? Ooh, um, my best friends make me laugh a lot. Okay. Just because they're okay, okay. all funny. What What makes me laugh the most? I think. Oh no, I was gonna say people like falling, but that sounds awful. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> <But it> <laughs> It is kind of funny <laughs> when someone falls in front of you. Um, uh -huh. it's yes, it is. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yes, it is. I don't know. I feel like I really find it funny when uh -huh. when you someone's telling a story and then they say a joke, but then they keep layering it, and it just gets like it's just like little moments like that where you kind of like there's no real punchline, but you're just like telling something funny. And, I don't even know how to describe wow. it, but that is so funny to me. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, uh -huh, yes. And, and as you say, uh, people are falling calls <laughs> from TikTok. I found yeah. one on Facebook and made me laugh so much uh -huh. because they were actually like recording like uh, a story on Instagram and, and suddenly there's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hard and I uh -huh, so uh -huh. every single time, but it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. It, it is me. Okay, okay. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, so much. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Another one. Uh, I would love to know which superpower would you love to to have? Ooh. Let's see. Uh -huh. Um, teleportation. I think. I think. Uh -huh, uh -huh, just uh -huh. to, I was gonna say read minds, but I feel like I just I would know a lot about people that I don't want to know. I think so. Uh -huh. I think teleportation, so I can just get places faster and save time. Wow. I think. I think so I can get more done during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, because uh -huh, usually uh -huh, if you have to go to another place, the traffic exactly. can it be. Exactly. It takes so, so long. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes yeah. it can be. Okay. Okay. 
Excellent, excellent, Michel. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Another one, uh, you have the opportunity to travel to the past or to the future. Which one would you choose? Past, for sure. I want to go wow. and wear, well, actually, mm, I don't know if I would go like super far back in the past because people like, there was just a lot of grossness <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> like there was just a lot of like plagues and people didn't shower. <laughs> But <laughs> I don't want to go. Like I don't. Wanna, I don't know if I go back that far. I kind of uh -huh. want to go back, maybe to like the '80s or the '90s, because I feel like oh. um, my parents grew up in the '80s, and I like they always talk about how fun and cool it was. So, and there's a lot of like media surrounding the '80s and like how awesome it was. So I just want to go back and see that. And it'd be cool to live without a phone. I think. I think oh cool. yes. Cool. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh, because I'm, uh, a lot of uh, things like MTV, all of that, mm -hmm. were just starting the music yeah. players, all of that. Yeah. The Discman, Walkman, yeah. okay, okay. Wow, excellent. Excellent answer, Michelle. And as an interesting fact, all of the guests say the past. They say all the of past? them. Oh, they say they, the past? They choose the past. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Wow, okay, excellent, excellent. Wow. Really interesting. Wow. <laughs> Another one. Uh, uh, what is your favorite place in the US? Do you have a favorite one? Hmm. Hmm, that's good. Uh, New York City. Uh -huh. New York City for sure. Yeah. I love it. Wow. Okay. City. Okay. Okay. It's great. Yeah. Wow. It's wow. amazing. Excellent. I, love, I love the people. I love the food. I love the culture. And there's always like, really, when you walk around New York, you hear more. You hear very little English, honestly, when you're walking around New York City because everyone wow. is from everywhere and it's so amazing and it's so beautiful. Uh -huh, it's like... And it's amazing. And like, what's great is my mom and I always go and my mom uh -huh. and I speak Afrikaans with each other. We don't speak English with each other. And uh -huh. so the thing, like in Tennessee, like we don't have to worry because like no one here is from South Africa. So it's uh -huh. like we can talk. But, uh -huh. like, we can't, in New York, we have to be a little careful because people might actually understand us. But oh. um, I just love oh, okay, how okay. many people are there and how just diverse it is. I think it's really beautiful. It's, wow, yeah. excellent. Yeah. An excellent Thank Richard. You. Excellent. And speaking of all of this, uh, would you love to learn another language besides English? Um, yes. So I I would love to pick up a romance language like French or Spanish oh, okay. because I already speak Afrikaans fluently because I speak it at home in my family. And um, I do, live, since I was living in Asia, I can speak like conversational um, Beijing dialect Mandarin Chinese. Uh -huh. So I can speak a little bit of that. but. Um, with I would re I really I went through like a phase of wanting to learn Russian and then I downloaded an app to help me learn Russian and then I saw what Russian looked like and I was like no way so then I tried <laughs> to like maybe pick up like French or Spanish but it never stuck like I need to just sit down and learn because I feel like once you learn one of the romance languages like it can it clicks faster but also German is super close to Afrikaans so I was like maybe if I can just but like what's the point like I want to learn French or Spanish for sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow excellent choices uh, and did you know a few words in, in Spanish for example uh, uh, hola como estas something like that yeah I know like hola como estas como se dice uh, uno dos tres uh, wow um, <laughs> wow um, uh -huh. Me llamo, uh, me, me llamo Michelle. <laughs> me llamo chica, like, amigo, <laughs> because, like, I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. wow, excellent, Michelle. <laughs> uh, uh, and also within all of this, uh, a place you would love to visit, but outside mm -hmm. the U.S.? Outside the U.S.? Uh -huh. I want to go, I've never been to Europe. I've been to Norway, but like, not like, I've, I haven't been to like Spain and France and Germany. Like I want to do the Europe round trip. I want to go to Venice. I want to go to Rome. I want to go to Paris to like, I want to go all over. I want to go to um, Madrid. I want to go to all those places. Uh, it's, okay. And Greece. I want to go to Greece so bad. Just oh. all over Europe. I just need to, I just need to spend a summer in Europe and I think we'll be good. Yes, <laughs> Chris, could be, could be nice. Yeah. Mykonos, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah. Excellent choices. Wow. <laughs> Excellent, Michelle. Wow. <laughs> Another one, uh, more related to your personal mm -hmm. uh, tastes. Um, w which kind of movie? No, no, movie, yes. Mm, I have a favorite song. Do you have a favorite song right now? A favorite song right uh -huh. now? Hmm. 
I have been really right. Okay, so my number one artist, uh, my number like uh -huh. one and two would always be Taylor Swift and Lana Del Rey because uh, okay, okay. I am I am a basic girl. But really, <laughs> recently, I've been uh -huh. I've been really into um, Chapel Roan. She opened for Olivia Rodrigo uh -huh. recently. Oh, um, well. I'm really I'm really into her stuff right now. But I do love music. I listen to music every single day, all the time. So uh, I'm I'm big into Lizzie McAlpine. I'm big into Dijon. Um, recently, I've been listening to a little bit more like Childish Gambino and like little things like uh -huh. I guess Summer's coming up again. Uh -huh, but, uh -huh. yeah, I listen to pretty much everything. Yeah, everything's great. Wow. Yeah. So I wow, think right now, maybe maybe my favorite song right now would be "Hot to Go" by Chapel Run. Right now, it's probably gonna change by in two days. Uh -huh. But right now, Hot to Go <laughs> okay, by <okay>. Chapel Run. <laughs> okay, okay, I will have to listen. Okay, okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and and movie? Do you have favorite As movie right uh -huh. now? It is probably uh -huh. the the 2019 or 2020. I don't, I don't remember which year it was. Of Little Women that Greta Gerwig directed, um, with like Saoirse Sharon and Florence Pugh, Timothy Chalamet. Like it's such a beautiful film. Ah. It's shot beautifully. Ah. <laughs> like it's the acting is amazing. Like it's and I love Little Women. I love that story and I love period pieces. So it's just it's amazing. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Wow! 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 wow. Yeah. Excellent. And speaking of this. Um... We, with which director would you love to to work with? Do you have a specific one? Yes, a Greta Gerwig. I love Greta Gerwig. <laughs> I love her so much. I think she's amazing. Um, oh, okay. I thought Barbie was so just such an interesting take on it, and I really thought like there was a lot of like you know I hate Barbie, I love Barbie. I loved it. Uh -huh. I understood it, and I have pictures of me like sobbing after Barbie because I was uh -huh. like I want to go. I don't know if you said you seen it. Have you seen the Barbie movie? Uh -huh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. and like after like when she was talking about like girls and like daughters and mothers relationships I was like I need to go home and hug my mom uh -huh. like it was really just, <laughs> it's funny uh -huh. looking back at it but I was like fully sobbing after I watched Barbie because like, this is a beautiful movie and I think Greta Gerwig like when she was working on Little Women um uh -huh. she's a bit and Lady Bird too Lady Bird is such a good film by her when she's working with the actors, we watch the behind the scenes, like she's so like one on one with them and she's so like hands on and showing them what to do. I just, I love her and I love her vision. All her movies like speak to me so much. Like I just, I love her. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, yes. So now that you say Lady Bird, I love that. <laughs> I love that as well. I, yeah. I believe it is so cool. Yeah. The, the actresses, all of this. Aha, uh -huh, okay, okay, excellent, excellent. And did you have a favorite actress and actor you would love to, to work yeah. with? Um, I would say my favorite actor right now. Uh -huh. hmm. I was gonna say Timothy Chalamet because I'm in love with him, but like, <laughs> I think I think besides that, uh -huh. <laughs> besides I'm that, in love. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, let me think for a second. Hold on, what's his name? I just totally forgot his name. Um, the guy, uh, the the guy. Oh my gosh, totally like, okay. Actress <coughs> right now is probably uh -huh. either Anya Taylor Joy or oh, well, well, Lawrence Pugh right now. Uh, Just one of those two. Okay. Um, because I feel like I like Anya's style. I love the way she's so like soft and slow, and I just, it's uh -huh. just so just interesting to watch. She's fascinating. And Florence Pugh, I feel like I'm very similar to her in the way that I I approach things and I act like I feel like me and her are very similar. Um, so I do, I like, I admire her work and I, I take a lot of inspiration from her work. Her actor, what is his, I'm like totally blanking on this guy's name. Um, we'll say Jimmy Chalamet because I cannot remember the other guy's name, but Jimmy <laughs> Chalamet, yes, because I love <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, And uh, speaking uh, within all of this, uh, mm -hmm. do you remember your first celebrity crush? Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh -huh. I think uh, let's. My real one is actually so awful. Like I can't even say it. Um, uh -huh. I think my my first like better one, my second uh -huh. one was uh -huh. probably um like there was like this cartoon on Disney XD when I was younger called like Danny Phantom. I'm pretty sure like him that cartoon uh -huh. like, the boy with the white hair. I was like uh -huh. that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Wow, excellent, excellent, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And and now regarding the female of this, and uh, your favorite food? Food? Oh, I uh -huh. love sushi. Sushi and coffee. I could live off of sushi and coffee for the rest oh, of my life. Oh, okay, great. So <laughs> I love sushi. I love sushi. I love it. Uh, yeah. Whatever. 
whatever. Anything, literally anything, I will eat it. It's so good. Oh, so good. okay, okay. <laughs> and coffee, it can be Starbucks or I like, in the house. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not like super picky. I, I don't like uh, Dunkin' iced coffee. I mean, their hot coffee's fine, but I drink it most, I like my coffee iced. Like I need it iced and I need it with um, oh. either oat milk or almond milk. I mean, I can do regular milk. I just, I don't like the taste of it that much. But um, uh -huh. I, I prefer, I usually do vanilla uh -huh. with my coffee. Oh. I've tried a lot. I mean, sometimes I'll do a hazelnut or a brown sugar, but I'm mostly oh, okay, vanilla okay. latte, ice latte kind of girl. But I've tried, I've tried everything. Oh. I, I really like the plain okay. vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent choices. Actually, Michelle, I am going to Starbucks <laughs> after <laughs> yeah. this. <laughs> get, get blonde espresso. If you're going to get a, a latte with vanilla, get blonde espresso with vanilla. It's, uh, it's espresso. Good. It's very okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. I will have a taste <laughs> on it. Okay, <laughs> perfect, Michelle. And uh, another one we have. Uh, do you have a favorite social platform right now? Ooh, right now, I mean, Instagram, I feel like is always going to be one of my favorites just because I've kind of grew up when Instagram was going like crazy viral and like everyone was on it. And now it's just, I like going through it, but I think my favorite one right now is probably Pinterest, oh. which isn't really a social platform. It's just oh. like, I just love <laughs> scrolling through it. Uh -huh. I love, oh. like no one's fighting on Pinterest. Like I feel like every social media, people are just fighting all the time. And sometimes it's funny. Sometimes I do read it and I laugh at it and it's like, haha. But Pinterest is like, it's just pretty things and you can just look at pretty wow. things and be happy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> and also, um, uh, I wanted to know why inspires you generally or, or really? like every day? I would say uh, my mom is an okay, extremely okay. hard worker and she really puts in like 100% every day for me and my sister, wow. for me and my whole family. Like, you know, she's great. Uh -huh, and I look up uh -huh, to her uh -huh. a lot. And uh -huh. also, I think just um, especially like with my i'm my following's growing a little bit growing a little bit but like as much just the little impact i've gotten message of from like girls who watch shiloh and bros who are just like thank you for making like for doing uh -huh. this all today like that has been ah, such a big okay, pressure okay. for me to be like i need to keep going because like people are watching my example and they are going to look ah, at what i do okay. and i want uh -huh. to push for a positive message wow sure. mm -hmm. wow 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 excellent excellent yeah. uh, Beautiful inspiration. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> and uh, do you do you enjoy watching yourself on the screen, I, or you're like, like some yeah. kind of? <laughs> I used to be. I used to be extremely like, oh, I want to see. I don't want to see. Which is not like not like I love watching myself on TV or anything like that. It's just I've gotten used to it for sure. Uh, um, it's okay, not okay. anymore. Like I used to literally have to leave the room. Like I wouldn't watch myself. Like I would not. If my mom or if someone in my family or my friends were like, oh, like, is this you? And like looking at it, I would leave the room. Like I couldn't do it. But now I've gotten ah. so used to it. I've, I've kind of grown like, yeah, that's me. And I am doing what I love. And I still like, sometimes I'm like, oh, why did I do it like that? Like when I watch it back, <laughs> but like, okay, it's, okay. it's gotten better. I've gotten more comfortable with it for sure. But I wouldn't like, I don't say, I wouldn't say I love it. I don't love it, but yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Just because. Uh, I came across with another yeah. actresses that they they are in this phase so mm -hmm. they can't watch themselves yeah. on the screen. Yeah. Um, other actresses mostly mm -hmm. say, oh, okay, that's okay because yeah. I had this process already yeah. and now yeah. I am in yeah. this other one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, excellent. And um, if you, um, which kind of message would you love to give to to another person who is becoming an actress? Okay. Okay. What kind of message would you love? Um, I would say stay, you have to have thick skin. This is not uh -huh. an industry where you can be sensitive. And it's not um, uh, a job or a aspiring job where you can be, um, where you can get give up easily. You have to have thick skin and be a competitor and be a fighter. Because if you don't speak up for yourself, who else is going to, you know? And um, wow. I've had a lot of really like hurtful things said, and I know other people who have had it too, like said to me along the way of like, just people who don't believe in you, people who are trying to like rip you away. But if, if you're really passionate about something, you're going to fight for it. And I think 
and I've built up a thicker skin because of this industry. Uh-huh. And you're going to hear uh-huh. no so many times. You're going to hear the word no all the time. So you really can't let rejection hurt you. You can't be sensitive. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Wow. Really powerful message, <laughs> Michelle. And finally, of this third part, I would love to know a message you would love to give to younger Michelle, if you have oh, the opportunity. Gosh. Uh-huh. Oh. I was I, I was forgetting that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I would tell her to relax. <laughs> I think <laughs> um, me, I mean like baby me, like child me was, was fine. But I think me um, four years ago and like t- up to two years ago was very a very anxious person and a, a person who wanted to do things perfect all the time. <laughs> and no one's perfect and no one's ever going to be perfect so there's no point in stressing out about that and no one likes perfect anyway like because th- there's something interesting about you if you're just perfect so um, <laughs> i think i would probably tell her to calm down and just live for a second and not think wow. stress all the time wow Excellent, excellent, Michelle. Wow, a really strong, powerful <laughs> message for younger Michelle. Okay, okay, thank you so much. And I have to say, one of the funniest hot takes I ever had Thanks. within this episode. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, thanks to you. Thank and you. now, <laughs> regarding all of this, uh, first of all, I would love to know if you have any upcoming project you would love to share with us. In I case know, you can. Not, um... As of right now, not really. Uh-huh. Not I have, you know, uh, my friends and I always collaborate on things. So there will probably be something soon. But as of this current second, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, but okay. Um, the summer's coming up, so I will probably be working. I'll probably be making some of my own stuff, hopefully. And I mean, I wrote a play and I'm directing that. Uh-huh, what? But it's only for oh, one night. It's only for one night, and um, we're just doing it at my school. It's kind of just like a thing that all like the graduating seniors do. But I did write a play. It's called wow. Kill, and wow. I am directing it. But yeah, that's like my. That's the nice thing that like I think for film and stuff. Um, over the summer, I think I'll definitely be working. But as of right now, I don't know. I don't know yet. Hopefully. Wow. Yeah. And that I found it really interesting that you write and direct mm-hmm. as well. Wow, wow, excellent. And if you have to choose to mm-hmm. act, direct, or act, or write, <laughs> which I one would, would you choose? Um, acting first, for sure, just because that's what I, I love to do. Um, uh-huh. And then I think I really, I like writing. Ooh, that's so difficult because um, acting first, for sure. Yeah, and then okay, okay. directing and writing have been an experience to learn. I mean, I've, I've always written, so I guess like writing second, but directing has been a new thing, and it's it's difficult for sure. It's a lot dif- more difficult than you would think it is. Just yeah, uh, but I th- I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it, and I like it because I am a person like with a vision when I make something, so I know what I want. But um, it's definitely it's different than you think it would be. It's it's hard. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah. uh, and in the near future, which uh-huh. kind of a story would you love to tell through writing and directing? Do you have a specific one? I don't, I don't really think so. I think my main initiative, especially with my writing, is to make people laugh or make them cry, for sure. Just make them feel <laughs> something. Make them feel yeah, some sort of way. Yeah, that's for sure. As long as my writing makes someone feel something, I'm, I'm good and I'm happy. And how do people call you? Mitch, Michelle, how, yeah. or how do you yeah. like to? I have, um, I mean, I go by Michelle in my daily life. My family calls me Shell or Shella. And then Shella. my, I have some friends who call me just Mitch or Mitchy or just Shell. Like, wow. it's really just a range. It's a, really a range, but I go by Michelle most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. And do you have only one name? I, yeah, I only have Michelle Tom, I do not have a middle name. Ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, middle name. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and I, I believe it is like um, an artistic name. I, I like it very much. You. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, names with M because they are so so catchy, like so easy to remember, like Michelle yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> excellent, excellent, Michelle. And I also wanted to know. Finally, if you have plans for this week or the weekend, week? what are your plans? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, what am I doing this weekend? I don't even know. Um, 
probably sleeping and homework because I don't <laughs> sleep that much. I, um, oh, I mean, I, yes. I do get sleep, but like I, I just probably just to rest, just to rest um, and catch up on on work and maybe read a little bit. I haven't done that in a while. I do, I do most of my weekends, like especially Sundays, I am in my house. I'm in my bed wow. and I'm wow. just chilling. But during the week, okay. usually Fridays and Saturdays, I'm, I'm busy or I'm hanging out with friends or I'm doing something work related. But ah, I okay. do chill okay, okay. mostly on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, a really interesting balance. Okay, okay, okay. excellent, Michelle. <laughs> and I have to personally thank you for this yeah. for this space. Thank this you has so much been for having amazing, yeah, so delightful. I had a really good time. Thank you. I thought the too. conversation was yeah. natural. Wow, nice. and I have to thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. This was so fun. Yes, uh, uh, are you? Um, it is. Is it really often to you for you to make lives or interviews like this? I've never done one before. This is my first. Ah, one. okay, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. It's really fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs> Thank and, you so much. And, and as I always say, I. I learn a little bit from each guest and I <laughs> learn a lot from you. Thank you. A <laughs> lot. Thank you so much okay, for having okay. me. This was awesome. Thank you so Bye. Much. Bye. <laughs>